Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Visual Basic WPF application using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So Visual Basic is an object-oriented programming language developed by Microsoft. Using Visual Basic makes it fast and easy to create type saved .NET applications. So what is really a Windows Presentation Foundation WPF? So WPF is a UI framework that creates desktop client application. The WPF development platform supports a broad set of application development features, including an application model, resources, controls, graphics, layout, data binding, documents, and security. The framework is part of .NET, so if you have previously built applications with .NET using ASP.NET or Windows Forms, the programming experience should be familiar. So to get started, as you can see here, I've actually opened the Visual Studio installer. So we've got to make sure that we've got that whole nuts and bolts installed. So in the Visual Studio community, we click on the modify. So here we have to make sure we've got this bit checked and downloaded. So if we put on it here, it says here, build WPF Windows Forms and console application using C Sharp, Visual Basic and F Sharp with .NET Core and .NET Framework. So once you actually download and install this bit here, then we should be able to get on to the next stage. So once you've, you've actually completed that previous bit, then we click on the create a new project. So here, I'm just going to remove this bit here. So as on the language side, yeah, we select Visual Basic and then we look down, we look at WPF application.net framework. Yeah, so we could actually type here WPF. So as you can see here, we've got WPF application right on top. So, and then we've got one bit here, it's a WCF service application, which is different thing. So we click on the, this bit here, then on the next. So here we can actually configure our project details here. I'm not gonna say anything about it. You can have a look on my other videos. So we click on the create. So, as you can see here now, we've got the project created and we've got this um, template here, so the, the, which is um, the main windows.xaml. So here we've got the XAML file here opened. So what, what is really the XAML? Um, XAML is a declarative markup language as applied to the .NET core programming modules. XAML simplifies creating a UI for .NET core or .NET framework applications right so here we've got a very simple startup xaml created here so what we can do is just inside of the grid here we can we can put background just put any color so as you can see any changes that we make is is, is reflected on the visual side we can also do it on the visual side which i'm going to show you in a bit so here uh, we can we can set some like minimum height, minimum minimum width. This will actually apply to the to the grid window. So we're not going to look into that now. So inside the grid here, yeah, what we do is we're just going to put a button. So the button, the content of the button, we're just going to put. Um, First, Visual Basic WPF app. Yeah, so here, inside the button, we can actually change some attributes like um, the width 
of the button we can make it like let's say 150 and we can change the height of the button we can just say um, 60 so as you can see here the button is actually fit to the middle of the of the grid so what we can also change is the font the font size so we could just make this 25 so since it's not showing up we can come inside the, the width and make it 200 or maybe 250 maybe 320 yeah that shows better so what we can do put next is just change the color the background color of the of the button we can just make it dark red and we can change the foreground just we change the test color we can just make it white and we can change the font weight this will actually make it shows how bold we want it to make we can make it extra bold and then so as we can see now it's still not so we can make the width 360 or even 80 just to show it better so as you can see here now we've done a little bit of the XAML so let's say yeah uh, we want to handle the click event inside the I mean we want to hang, handle the click event with the uh, I mean the visual basic so if we look inside here we've got the code behind us application I mean the main windows dot xaml dot vb for visual basic once we click on it here now we've got we've got this simple class created with nothing inside so we come inside the dot xaml extension and here we can actually register the click events from this bit here as you can see on the top we've got the click here so we can actually double click on this bit here and then we can get the the click event method created for us or we can actually write a click here and then as you can see we've got two two possibilities so on content change event or the, the we can create a, the click method which we will do so as you can see here now we've actually got it the click event method created for us so what we can do is once the button is clicked we can just show a message by clicking on by putting the message box dot show then we can put a test inside so we can say um, button clicked at so we can put daytime here so we can say daytime dot etc now dot to string and then we can actually format the date we can just put small f for the full for the full date format right so what we're doing is we're just going to run it to actually see what comes out of it So as you can see here now we've actually got our first WPF application in um, Visual Basic. So once we click on the button we should get this button click dialog showing. So this is actually what is actually registered. So as you can see it's, it's not very difficult to get started with Visual Basic with WPF application. The WPF application sorry. So I'm just going to leave the video here. And I, and I hope you, you can actually build on this forever. So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.